10 Unbelievable Ship Discoveries Number 10 The Pyramids Vessel Archaeologists discovered a rare funerary boat near the Abu Sir Pyramids, located just south of Cairo. Since the Nile gave ancient Egypt many other resources, boats played a vital role for transportation and fishing to the unbelievable civilization. With Egyptians taking their burial ceremonies quite seriously, there's no doubt that they'd want to bring one with them to the afterlife. The discovery of the 4,500-year-old ship most likely belonged to an upper-class citizen since wood wasn't always available at that time. The archaeologists were clearing an ancient mastaba, or tombs, and found parts of this 60-foot ship lying in the bed of stones. This could be key in further understanding Egyptian shipbuilding techniques as well as funerary traditions. Number 9. Captain Cook's Endeavor People might know James Cook as Captain Cook, the legendary English explorer who discovered Eastern Australia and the HMS Endeavour. This is one of the most famous ships in history, and it seems to have finally been discovered in 2015 off the coast of Rhode Island. The Rhode Island Marine Archaeologist Project made the discovery and claimed that the boat sunk in 1778 in the Battle of Rhode Island. In 1768, it set sail originally to explore the Pacific Ocean and to search for unknown land. This was a pretty small ship in comparison to the ships of the British Navy, and only about 100 feet long with 100 sailors. The Endeavour also reached New Zealand in 1769 and circumnavigated both the North and South Islands of this country. It returned to England in 1771 and was sold in 1775. Number 8. The Esmeralda Nearly 500 years ago, the Esmeralda and her crew sank during a violent storm in the Indian Ocean, and apparently, the wreckage has been found. This ship belonged to no other than Vasco da Gama, the famous Portuguese explorer and navigator. This man was the first person to sail directly from Europe to India. The storm killed all the men that were on board and the famous Vasco da Gama's uncle. The ship that sank was actually a part of Vasco da Gama's second voyage to India. It was discovered off the coast of Oman, located on the Arabian Peninsula, where debris from a lost ship was found. Scuba divers uncovered rare coinage, stone shot, ceramics, a bell, and other artifacts that will help us comprehend further the age of exploration. Number 7. John V. Moran This historic 2014-foot steamboat was discovered in Lake Michigan in 2015. It was discovered under 365 feet of lake water by using a sonar search. The vessel sank in February 1899 after it tried plowing through the icy lake with its reinforced hull. This is one of the most well-preserved shipwrecks in Great Lakes history, according to the Michigan State Police Underwater Recovery Unit. The only thing that seems to be missing from the ship is its large smokestack. It's also one of the deepest wrecks they've ever had to deal with, and they're normally used to dealing with the much more shallow wrecks. This ship ran frequent routes between Muskion and Milwaukee, carrying mostly barreled flour and packaged goods. The large chunks of ice blew a hole through the hull, and water quickly flooded the ship. Number 6. Mongol Kamikaze Ship When the Mongol hordes boarded ships and attempted to sail across the Sea of Japan in order to evade the Japanese, they were struck down by a severe storm. The Japanese believed the gods were on their side and called them divine winds. This is the original meaning for the word kamikaze. This storm could have potentially saved the entire country of Japan from an all-out invasion. Archaeologists believe that they may have uncovered some of the remains of the fleet Kublai Khan, the grandson of Genghis Khan, used during this attempted evasion. With 4,000 ships and 140,000 men, you believe that it should be possible to come across some wreckage. These were found in a bay close to the city of Matsura on the western coast of Kyushu Island. A total of three ships were discovered by underwater archaeologists, and one of them estimated to be about 65 feet long by 21 feet wide. Other artifacts such as porcelain bowls, brown glazed pottery vases, and ironware was found. Number 5. Pirate Shipwreck, Tonga A shipwreck near the Pacific country of Tonga was discovered in 2012, and underwater archaeologists believe that it could possibly be the ruins of the famous pirate vessel known as the Port-au-Prince. This ship was originally French, but was captured by the British and made into a pirate boat, looting boats belonging to rival countries such as Spain and France. Here in this photo, you see the illustration of the similar style the Port-au-Prince would have had. This boat was made famous for destroying some Spanish settlements in Peru, as well as their ships. Some believe the boat was destroyed by Tongan natives, and they used the metal from this ship to make weapons. If the Tongans did take control of the ship, they would have certainly massacred any British sailors on site. Number 4. Queen Anne's Revenge 
The infamous Blackbeard's pirate ship, the Queen Anne's Revenge, was discovered on a sandbar near Beaufort, North Carolina, and it is possibly the best pirate ship discovery of all time. Blackbeard and his crew terrorized anyone they came into contact with and plundered many ships. This was a former French slave ship to help colonize the Caribbean. Blackbeard struck fear into the hearts of many with his gruesome flag. One cannon you see in this photo weighed an astonishing 3,000 pounds. This would have fired devastating 6-pound cannonballs and would have ripped enemy boats to shreds. Some other artifacts archaeologists came across included gold dust, coins, glass beards, and 22 cannons. This anchor they lifted off the seabed weighs nearly 3,000 pounds. Blackbeard met Davy Jones' locker in a gruesome fashion when the British Navy finally captured him. It's believed that Blackbeard's severed head was left to hang from the bow of the Lieutenant Robert Maynard's ship. Number 3. Antikythera Shipwreck Off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera, a massive storm 2,000 years ago caused a large ship to sink. On board were many luxurious items including fine glassware, massive statues, and the most notable item, a complex gear device many believe to be the world's first computer. This ship and its wreckage was discovered by Greek sponge divers in the year 1900, but they seem to keep on finding new things here. Just recently, in September 2016, fragments of a human skeleton were found. Buried beneath shards of ancient pottery, they came across this piece of jawbone, which included three teeth. They also found this piece of cranial bone in the Aegean Sea. This is the first time researchers came across bones at the site, and they're hoping with DNA testing they can learn more about the crew that was on this famous shipwreck. Number 2. German U-Boat The German U-Boat submarines were certainly a force to be reckoned with during World War II, and they wreaked havoc among merchant ships. But how close were the Nazis from the American mainland? Recently, a Nazi U-Boat was uncovered only 30 miles off the coast of North Carolina. Maybe we weren't as safe on our home soil as we might have thought. Many Americans picture the fronts of World War II all the way in Europe or on the other side of the Pacific. This tends to prove otherwise, considering how close it was to us. This vessel was believed to have been shot down in battle with the 44 sailors still entombed inside. The discovery was made using sonar, and you can still even see the propeller at the back intact. And number 1. Titanic Discovered A group of American and French researchers finally found the remains of the infamous Titanic in northern Atlantic, south of Newfoundland. With the help from undersea robotics, the team was able to verify that the ship was truly the Titanic, which struck an iceberg over a century ago. The ship was supposed to be unsinkable, but tragedy struck, and more than 1,500 people lost their lives. The ship is located 12,500 feet below the surface of the ocean, which is about 2.4 miles, so getting down here was certainly no easy task. New ghostly images were released and tell the true story of this legendary catastrophe.